uh, talking to the kids, introducing who I am, and then explaining the importance of environmental issues to uh, the kids and to the teachers. And how one of the first questions I'll ask is, uh, can anyone here name the second most effective filter for pollutants that's found on Earth? And of course, uh, nobody knows, you know, and I said, well, what about first? And, and finally get him to say forest. A, a, an, a complete forest is number one. But number two is grass, and specifically what we're standing on. And that usually catches these kids off guard just a little bit. They're not ready for that, that this is the best filter. And it's the thatch, and it's the grass itself that has that capability. The teachers quite often, when, when I say that, there's a, there's a blinking moment for them. So that's the first thing we'll talk about. We'll talk about the fertilizer programs that are put down. We'll talk about the education level. I'll ask these kids, anyone going to college? And up, up go all the hands. Well, you better go to college, because if you want to be a golf course superintendent and get a great job, you really should have a good college education. If you don't, you can still get the job, for sure, but there's so much stuff I'm going to share with you that you have to learn and you have to experience. So we'll go through that process. Again, we're on a putting green right now. So we'll start going through these various tools and gizmos and gadgets. And once you get going on this thing, it's a lot of fun. And you watch the kids' eyes. You've got a lot of science you're going to teach them. And I'm going to sh uh, show you guys the tools that I use, but you've all, you've all got them already on your golf course. Usually, we're on a putting green. In fact, always, we're on a putting green. And the first thing you got to have is a walking putting green mower or a triplex. And they go nuts. These kids will go nuts with a, with a triplex in there. But a putting green mower should the be the first. The first thing that we do is we also. talk about mowing heights. The first question I ask them is, anyone here mow lawns for mom or dad? And that's the first question. And if the arms don't go up, tell I them, them all. do you know what height you're mowing at? and explain to them that the higher you mow your lawn, the less water it uses because there's a direct correlation between mowing height and root depth. And so we'll, we'll uh, have that discussion. And we get into mowing heights. So most of the folks, and this is my little gizmo I carry with me, and I, it's, it's a lot of fun to, to give these kids this quiz. I'll pull out two quarters and flip them upside on top of each other. And I've measured this. And that's a standard lawn mowing height that quite often we see, and that's two inches. And I encourage them to go to three, and then go through the process of why, and the roots and the water and all that, but two inches. Now, I've got a prism gauge over here that's set on a lawn that's set at about an inch to an inch and a quarter. If you all have a prism gauge, you have, have them go over and look at the prism gauge and say, you realize that we're not standing on two inches here. What we're standing on is actually 130. And that's what this is on a prism gauge is 130. I say 125, I fudge a little bit. And that's what most putting greens are being mowed at. And the, the, there's, there's a blink, like you gotta be kidding. So you let them look at the prism gauge, they just, holy smoke, that is so cool. And talk about what they're standing on, the type of grass that it is, whether it's po annual or bent grass, explain how all these different grasses as you look around that are poas are all different. Every one of them, they're all different and how the, these, guy, these guys that do this with this machine. We would then walk over to the machine. And usually I have a superintendent with me at the time. Quite often, guys, too, you're the facilitator of this whole thing. Steve Keeley does his own station, but I've been to him where the superintendent doesn't do a station. They're the facilitator. They're going around. And so like with Matt Schultz, he's there, and I, let's go and Matt, explain to him how this thing works, how you set it up. And it, it, you get people involved, and it's, it's so much fun because they're just wide-eyed, not a clue how it's... This isn't your typical rotary mower on a home lawn. This is a putting green mower at 125. It's pretty cool. So we'll talk about that. Uh, take any questions, any answers the kids might have. Since we're on a green, you all have a stint meter. We'll start talking about the importance of golfers in wanting to have a smooth surface and how these guys do it. If there's a groomer on that putting green mower, we'll show them the groomer. We'll talk about sand, we'll take a probe, but we'll roll three golf balls. Quite often I'll let one of the kids hold it. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep, and then let, let it go. And, and, and just so they get the feel of a stimp meter. Nowadays we have this new one, and I'll explain the 2X deal, which is half the distance, because the greens have gotten so fast. Don't really get into that too much, but just trying to explain to them how persnickety golfers can be. Uh, the question earlier is like you're talking to 12-year-olds and uh, Jerry says to me, golfers, 12-year-olds, 
Yeah, that's pretty much who you're talking to. So the other thing we get into is irrigation, and, and uh, you all have the TDR 300s. Kids love this thing. This is an interesting lawn we're on. I didn't know this until it came over here. But I walked over here, and I got this looks green over here. So that's the probe I took out and popped this thing in, and it's 58% moisture in that little dip area. Well, yeah, it's all soil. But you guys are standing on, you heard it, sand. Mm -hmm. That's 10%. And so we'll talk about the tools that are used, that you guys use, for hand watering and for specific watering on a golf course, trying to reduce overall water use. Again, tied into mowing heights, sand-based putting greens, going into all that. I'll usually take a probe just on the putting green and, and then talk about top dressing. And quite often I'll go max depth. And then what I like to do, if it's on Poe, it's not going to happen, but if it's on bent grass, your place would be fun because I have a term I call accordion roots and accordion roots are roots that are so thick and so deep that when you start to push that core back it just curves in there is no snap 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 that Poanya has and you start doing this and you ask the kids in advance okay where are the roots gonna be what have you learned so far the higher the height you know the deeper the roots so are they gonna be here here and I'll start poking on the deal and everybody always guesses too 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 deep always you start going, you keep going, you keep, whoa, wow, wow. It's, it's really cool, a little exercise with the kids. So you describe that whole process. Um, I do want to share with you uh, one other thing. Uh, well, actually, there's one other thing on the mowers I forgot. It's another little, little deal I do. I'll do this with you. How much is this worth? How much is this worth? Okay, so initially some of the kids say, you know, zero. No, no, go up. A penny. Keep going. Five dollars. No. Keep going. Ten dollars. A hundred dollars. No. Keep going. Keep going. The idea is to find the cost of a bed knife and reels. Maybe a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. You guys correct me. It's probably gone up. Yeah. A thousand dollars. That's the magic number. And then I give them the, the deal and maybe a penny. But, um, but the idea is to, to show that mower as part of that process of how precise these things have to be. Um, and it, it's always worked really well and how important it is that, the, that maybe if you guys come out and work on the golf course you might have a job where this is really an important part of your job is to clean that thing off and as robotic mowing comes in which that is going to be something I'm telling you right now the first person that gets robotic mowing on greens up here and hosts a first green class Karen it's going to be nuts it's going to be nuts because they're just going to stand on it just start it and just watch it and watch this thing Oh, I'm telling you, pretty it's, much. It's um, I think the stations are 20 minutes, yeah, about 20 Kathy, minutes. Yeah. about 20 minutes. There's always a lot of interaction amongst the kids, a lot of questions from the adults, yeah. uh, whether it's the teachers or the parents. They're the ones in the background and they're the ones looking and going, and they're asking the questions and making the comments. That's when the moment the kids were great, and, and you can't discount the kids and the smiles and all that. It's the adults that, that really got me. I just yeah. wasn't expecting yeah. that. The idea here is that, that you can, you've got all the tools to absolutely enrapture these kids and have fun doing it at the same time. So that's kind of a, all the different ones I use now, but God knows what's, what's coming next. Robotic mowing would be over the top. I mean, so any questions um, you might have? Uh, every one of you guys, boy, I encourage this. Uh, it is so simple. There's some great ideas, Gary. And it's really worthwhile.